everyone, I'm Linda of Roti and Rice. Today I'm going to show you how to make stir-fry gai lan or Chinese broccoli. Uh, my mom used to cook this dish a lot when I was growing up. Uh, she usually fries it with um, oyster sauce and mushrooms. Sometimes it's also done just boiling it and dressing it in a soy and garlic dressing. But today we're going to do this easy stir-fry and I'll show you how it can be done very quickly and easily in your own kitchen. Now let's take a look at the ingredients. I have a pound of gailan here with the stems and leaves separated. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil. One and a half inch ginger, peeled and thinly sliced. Two cloves garlic, minced. Two tablespoons soy sauce. Two tablespoons shaoxing wine. Four Chinese mushroom caps. And if you, you do not have Chinese mushrooms, you can also use regular mushrooms. And then I have one teaspoon cornstarch, which I will mix with two tablespoons of water, and one teaspoon of sesame oil to drizzle at the very end. Always choose gailan with smaller stalks and brightly colored leaves. The flower buds should be tight and compact. The stems should be peeled. Then you slice it at a diagonal. Fry ginger for about a minute. Then add garlic and fry for another 30 seconds. Now add the mushrooms. And the gailan stems. You want to fry this for about two minutes. The stems will turn a nice bright green color as you fry it. Now it's time to add the leafy parts of the vegetable. Followed by the soy sauce. And the Shaoxing wine. Fry for another couple of minutes or so. When vegetables are nice and wilted, add the cornstarch. Give it a good stir. You can see that it's nice and dry and not soggy at all. When cornstarch has thickened, you can turn off the heat. and add the sesame oil. And there, it's all done. This tender crisp stir-fry gailan with mushrooms is delicious with a bowl of steamed rice. 
I hope you have enjoyed watching this simple and tasty recipe. Please remember to subscribe to my channel for future recipe updates. See you in the next video and as always, happy cooking and thank you for watching.